The new coronavirus has symptoms which are quite similar to any other common cold or respiratory virus. Fever, a cough, even shortness of breath. All of these could be symptoms of the novel coronavirus. While the symptoms of the novel coronavirus are really similar to any other common cold, the important differentiation factor is that to consider whether or not you might have the novel coronavirus, you need to have had close contact with someone who has a confirmed novel coronavirus infection. If someone is showing symptoms of the novel coronavirus or any respiratory illness, they should call their doctor and seek guidance. If the symptoms feel particularly severe, if there's any shortness of breath, or their overall concern for their health, they might want to consider going to their local emergency room. The severity of the illness is similar to the common cold. More severe cases of the coronavirus typically occur in patients who are older than 65 years of age, who have numerous other chronic health conditions, or otherwise more prone or predisposed to infection. The virus spreads much as any other respiratory infection, which is by respiratory droplets. This is why it's always good to cover your mouth when you cough and wash your hands frequently and avoid touching your face. This virus is similar to SARS and MERS in that it recently made the jump from animals to humans and is now causing human disease. This virus differs from SARS and MERS in that it was detected very early with the initial outbreak and there's been an unprecedented level of information sharing between clinicians, public health, and the research community which will hopefully lead to new strategies and new detection methods to help stop the spread of this virus. At this point, unless you have direct contact with a confirmed infected individual, there's really no reason to be concerned about contracting the novel coronavirus.